in um, inspiration of Diary of the Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul Coming Out, I am bringing you another top five, and today is my top five favourite films, part one. With this list, I'm going to be counting down some of my favourite films that I've actually watched, I have. There are many, many I have watched, and that's why I'm saying it's a part one, because I'm definitely going to be doing another one. But hopefully I can cover them with an honourable mentions. So, let's begin. Five. Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Out of the many Star Wars films as they are, like, I've got to say, all of them are great, in my opinion. But with this one, we get to see the transition from Anakin to going to Darth Vader. It's a sad story, which I'm not going to say more about. But it's quite good to see um, Ian McGregor and also Hayden in this film. It's, it's good in a way that it's got action in there and it also inspired Star Wars to Clone Wars. So I would say that's one good thing about this film. Number four, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. One, two and three. So, in this, um, before the long haul, we had these films, and the first one came out back in 2010, from what I remember, and the last one was released back in 2012. I was actually quite young at the time when these films got released, and I watched all of them, and I thought they were fantastic, including some of my school friends actually had watched them as well. Um, in this, you get to meet a boy called Gregory and also another, and his friend, called um, Rowley, and also a family as well. In this you get to see how a transition goes from being a kid, from being a teenager, and some things that we do as teenagers. And did you know there's some things that, in dog days, that the teenagers do, um, Gregory and also Wally. Sometimes we will still do them till this day. Like for instance, believe in stupid things. Um, also get into trouble. Um, like for instance, saying that you're Wally but you're not. So yeah, I don't do those sort of things. But I do believe too many things. Anyway, so one of my childhood favourites, and I think you know what number one already is going. Number three, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. In this film, we get to see the first time um, as Ben Affleck being the Batman for the very first time. And also we get to see a Alfred Pennyworth as well. In this, first they do fight for Ben and then they find out that um, when Superman says Martha, Batman stops. And then they go and rescue her, and then Wonder Woman comes in to help with the Stop Doomsday. And that's pretty much it, that is. But Netflix is also, um, I heard that he doesn't want to play Batman at all now. But I don't know how that's going to work, considering that he's probably signed the contract and he has to do all of it first. So, number two, Lady in America. This film. Um, the two main stars was KSI and also Casper Lee. In this, I would say there are many, many YouTube films that I like, but this is one of the best ones. This is with so many YouTube collaborations from even Comedy Shorts Gamer being in the film to Bart Baker being in the film. And Bart Baker at the time was getting there, was in the middle of getting popular. Um, also, um, a soul good, I can't. I can't say your name, I'm sorry. Uh, Taste on Day and many, many, many more. In this film, a uh, simple weird, two kids trying to get laid. That's it. Literally that. Number one, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the, the Long Haul. I haven't seen this film yet, but I'm pretty sure I will be, pretty sure I will be seeing it soon. From what we know from the storyline is that um, they go on a trip, and also we are exploring a younger version, even younger version from the first Diary of Wimpy 
good film and going under the ages I would say under the ages of about at least 11 years old so with an all new cast um, we've got people back and also bring back new and old memories I hope you enjoyed this one and if you do get the time go and see Dio with a wimpy kid the long haul with either yourself or with someone else that you want to take with your kid if you've got kids or teenagers that want to see it, go and see it. Um, from what I know, it's out on theatres, I think it's May the 19th it is, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>